Hey man, before we start this video, y'all hit that like button. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Y'all hit that share button. Okay? We about to get to a thousand subscribers. And we, we hitting that like button. We hitting that share button. We hitting that comment. We hitting them comments. Let's go, man. Hoods be in our TV. Big favor. Big abundance. Let's get into the video. What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the guy who's being there. Welcome to Hood's Being There TV. Big favor, big abundance on today's episode. We're gonna be talking about Boosie and Kodak Black beefing. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So y'all know, man, Boosie been speaking on Kodak Black because Kodak Black did a song with Takashi 69. And uh they say Takashi 69 offered gave him a million dollars to do the song. And I kind of already touched on that subject. Like I said, man, all money, not good money, you know. But in business, I guess if you look at it like business, right? Like, okay, this is business. You know, I'm going to do business. You know what I'm saying? I can understand that, I guess. But what I don't like is that based on Kodak Black's morality and what he stands on, you know what I'm saying? Like, kind of his way of life completely goes against Takashi 6 ix way of life, right? And I think I used um, Pepsi as a as a as a example. Like I wouldn't do a commercial for Pepsi. I just wouldn't do it because soda is extremely toxic for the human body. And black people are five times more predisposition to pretty much have every genetic disease: diabetes, hypertension, high blood pressure. So I just wouldn't feel right in my spirit promoting something that I know would hurt my people in the long run, right? Even for a check, even though it's business, I just wouldn't feel right doing that. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's me. I really can say that because the person that I'm saying that I am and the things that I say that I do, I really stand on that. There is no, you could cut me a check for a million, five million, 10 million. I'm not going to do it. The influence is broader than the, the influence would have a broader impact then the money will have an impact on me, okay? So I just wouldn't do that. Now, for Kodak Black, he felt like, look, man, it's business, you know what I'm saying? And he kind of said that he threw some jabs at Takashi. I'm so raw, I got a rat giving me cheese, you know what I'm saying? We going to have, with this, we doing a verse. We ain't going on the end on no brick, you know what I'm saying? So um, I understand, you know, whatever he felt like he need to say to keep his conscience clear. But, you know, me personally, I I just feel like all money, not good money. You know what I'm saying? It's not. And I'm not, no, this ain't got nothing to do with no street nigga stuff. Like, I'm not no street nigga. I'm not finna glorify no street nigga shit. What I'm saying is just from a, from a man morality standpoint, like Takashi 6 9 was somebody that was putting hits out on people and living in the street culture and made a lot of money off of pretending to be a part of that culture and then turned around and told on the same people that he built his brand with you know that he was doing crimes with and was instructing them to go shoot people for him he was doing that and putting money on people's heads so i don't agree with him not being a man and standing on his 10 and saying you know what i did this i did this with them I'm going to go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and go with the consequences that come with that. That's what he should have did. That's what standing on 10 is. Takashi did not do that. He did the opposite. And I don't agree with anybody embracing him based on the fact that he's saying, yeah, I did it. And what? You feel what I'm saying? He was disrespectful to a lot of deputy, disrespectful to Nip in particular, who is a very righteous prophet. And I'm just not feeling that, bro. I don't feel nobody really rocking with him based on based on how he abuses the culture, right? I'm not, I'm not, I don't rock with that. So I agree with Boosie on this one in regards to man, like, come on, bro, you gotta have some type of morals and ethics, man. It's not always about the money. It's not, it's not always about the money, man. But I know Kodak Black going through some things also as well. So I can't really speak on his specific situation and say. He might have needed the money or, you know, it is what it is. But sometimes, man, the universe is going to test you and see if you really are who you say that you are. You know what I'm saying? And depending on how you, you know, pass them tests, it'll be depending on your life path. You feel what I'm saying? So I just don't agree with that for myself. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't agree with, you know, 
I'm, you, you know, using Pepsi, but, like, you know, I'm not working with nobody who abuse women. You feel what I'm saying? If you a consistent woman abuser, I don't want to work with you, bro. All money, not good money, man. I got, you know, sisters and mothers and you know what I'm saying? My grandmother raised me, bro. I'm not what I look like. You know what I'm saying? Some stuff I just don't agree with. Point blank, period. Now, if you made a mistake before once in your past or something like that, I'm not going to hold that against you. But if this is a continuous thing, you know what I'm saying? Then, yeah, okay, with 6 9 this has been a continuous thing. And him showing that he just, you know, chooses to be, you know, on that trolling path and just kind of not be you know, on the righteous path, and, you know, he, you know, so, but they've been going back and forth, right, Boosie, and then, you know, Kodak Black started talking like, man, look, you ready to die behind what you saying, kind of throwing some shots and throwing some threats at Boosie, and Boosie pretty much let it be known, bro, I got steppers too, like, you know, it is what it is, so, I don't want no blood to be shed over this situation. The last thing that we need to do is continue to perpetuate black on black violence. Okay, so should no blood be shed? Um, a lot of the guys Boosie run with are young guys in general. Boosie, you already be having them taking charges for you. Please don't send no more young black kings out there to put their life on the line for something as simple as some words over the internet. You guys are having a disagreement. That's all it is. It's a disagreement. That means you guys don't see eye to eye on a subject. Does not mean that you guys have to go to war with each other. So I'm pretty sure that this is just some internet banter. I'm pretty sure this isn't real. And them niggas is not really finna have people putting their life on the line for some words. You feel what I'm saying? You know, that just would just be ignorant. Boosie, like I said, you already be having young guys taking charges for you and throwing their life away. Don't continue to go down that path of having young black men throw their life away from you. Matter of fact, Boosie, I want to start seeing you build some young black men up, okay? you need. I need to start seeing some examples of you of some young black men that you put through college, gave some, got some scholarships for, you know, that you put on business-wise, you helped them start a business, build their real estate portfolio. I need to see something like that from you, Boosie, because I'm seeing a lot of a lot of destruction with the black youth coming from you, and I don't like that. And so saying you got steppers too, which I know you do, let's not even let it go there, okay? Let's not even allow it to go there, because it's just words, so... Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments about the situation. It's the God, Hoods Billionaire. Big favor, big abundance. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. This the God, Hoods Billionaire. Big abundance. Big favor, big abundance, man. I'm gone.